Number one, you have draw, been drawn to Archangel Uriel or you might have been resonating with the number 999. Then let's see what is the urgent message from Archangel regarding your current situation. Okay, so let's see for you guys what is the message here. Let's uh, get into your uh, energy. Group number one. <clears throat> so I'll start with the charms. I'm actually seeing the Aladdin's lamp. That's what's been shown to me. Maybe this is a wish of yours. Maybe you're talking about. And 999 number uh, uh, talks about completion. Maybe you have been seeing a lot of 999. Yeah. So I'm seeing like Aladdin wish. A lamp. Yeah, the lamp. So there are, it feels like you have the Aladdin lamp, but you don't have your wish. Uh, so, uh, so yeah. So it, maybe this is about your wish or something like that that you need to know. Let's see anyways. Uh, what is the message? Urgent message. <clears throat> I'm seeing the uh, Aries energy. Aries might be important for you guys. Maybe this is about an Aries person. Or, uh, or Aries energy talks about self. You know, the first house is about self, right? How we show up. Uh, so maybe this is a wish regarding your individuality or something like that. Uh, uh, yeah. So let's see. What is it? It's about you, I feel like that. Something about you. Archangel Uriel wants to talk here. Uh, so what is the message here? You have been... Uh, yeah, it feels like like the squirrel energy. Squirrel energy really uh, takes all the food and stores and, uh, you know, prepares for the winter. You have been preparing for something. I really feel like that as well. Okay. Uh, so we have the second house. Yes, you might be saving money for something that you really want. Yeah, maybe it's your marriage or something like that. So a wish of yours. A wish of yours. Okay, then we have the spin. Yeah, you have been manifesting. This is something, some sort of manifestation that will give you the security, safety. It can be wealth, it can be a marriage that, you know, when we get married, we rely on someone, right? They can become our safety net. So maybe there is a wish that you want to manifest and there is some message for you guys. So, so it hasn't manifested yet. You know this is the one. This is the thing you want. This is the path you want to go, it, 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 yet it hasn't manifested. So I feel like Archangel Uriel is telling you at this time that you are going good. You are right on track. You're at the you're coming to the end, end of the journey. Soon you will have this wish of yours, uh, yours come true. So meanwhile, what you can do is to uh, take action. Uh, look again, we have this full, uh, this uh, steps that you have to take with your heart desires. Uh, so maybe for some of you, when you will read a book, you might get some inspiration. At that time, take action towards it because this will be very safe and protected here. Uh, for some of you, if you're planning for a marriage, right, you will look in a ma magazine and you will see like, oh, wow, this, this kind of dress is awesome. I would love to have this. So maybe you will feel like I need to go and check it up. Even though your, your date is not planned, nothing has been planned, just go and check those dresses. That's, that's what I'm getting here. Maybe uh, with this uh, book, maybe, maybe you're focusing on yourself, right? And uh, you, you, maybe you will be getting some sort of uh, financial advice in a book. And you'll be like, maybe I should make that investment. And you will feel like it. Take action towards it. That's what I'm getting here. Uh, yeah, maybe through a book, maybe through an article, you might get some sort of inspiration and you will feel like, you will feel like maybe I need to do this investment. Maybe I need to check that house. Uh, yeah, before marriage, maybe you're planning, you, you both are planning to get into a new house or something like that. Maybe you will, uh, you will feel like I need to check some furniture or something like that. Maybe at this time it will feel stupid because nothing is planned, nothing has been done, right? Uh, but go and do it. Go and do it. Maybe there is some sort of information that will come. Maybe, maybe it will help you, help you with your manifestation. I feel like that here. For other people, it can be like reading a book and getting some sort of inspiration. Right? I, I need to just work on this thing. Maybe I need to uh, save my money for this thing. Maybe you will feel something. Maybe you will feel like I need to commit to this thing. Uh, so at that time, 
listen to your intuition and take action on it because you will be very safe when you do it you will be protected for some of you it can be like maybe you're single and your your wishes to have a partner and suddenly you will uh, see an article that there is like a newspaper you're seeing like there is a new coffee shop that has been opened and you will feel called to go maybe it's near your house or something like that maybe you don't even drink coffee but you have this calling to go to uh, to that cafe um, go go maybe something new will happen there maybe you will get some new, some sort of new opportunity maybe you will meet if you, if it's not about love life maybe it's about your career or something like that maybe you will see someone meet someone maybe a conversation will spark something in you so that's what i'm getting for the next few days uh, please be aware of that okay so from the charms i'm getting here some sort of investment you will be feeling like some sort of, uh, you know, you will be feeling like you need to go somewhere. Maybe for some of you, you will even feel like you need to spend some money to, um, yeah, money for something you need to spend. You will feel like I need to buy this thing. Uh, go ahead and do it because you will feel very strongly for that thing. At that time, listen to it and take action. That's what your first message is from Archangel Uriel. Okay, maybe this will take you to your wishes. Maybe, you know, sometimes universe work in miraculous ways. We don't know what will happen. So it will not feel like it's connected to your wish for some of you. But it will, at the end, it will make sense, you know. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what is the message here? Urgent message about your situation from Mark Angel Uriel. We have air, air guardian. Shift your perception. Again, oh, look, we have the air. So maybe for some of you, as I mentioned, you will be going to the cafe and something will shift and you will get new ideas. You will feel uh, a new, yeah, new inspiration for other people. You will meet someone in the cafe and this person, you will have a small conversation with that person, but something that person will say will shift something in you. That will be very beneficial for you to achieve your goals or your wishes here. Or maybe you will see someone doing something there and you will be like inspired for something. Some, something, something will inspire you here. That's what I'm getting here. So please uh, trust trust it so again you are going to shift your perception regarding something very soon here uh, so let's see yeah again you and your wishes right you have a wish that you want to make it happen but there's some sort of belief system some sort of perception that you like you are seeing things from only one angle something needs to shift in 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 you in order to in order for you to get to your wishes here so there is that that change that needs to happen right and that's why this change can happen through you reading through a book and taking action and you will see something and that will change you know in life many times you might have seen look back you might have changed your perception because someone did something right you thought that it's not possible and someone says that did, did something and you feel like yeah it's possible you, you changed your perception like that something needs to change you for everyone it's going to be different but there is some sort of uh, change inside of you that needs to happen in order for you to you know for you to get to your wishes here so in the coming days i feel like you will be guided here and it's safe to do something different you, you will be guided to do something different i feel like that right maybe you're someone as i mentioned don't drink coffee you don't go to cafes you will be feeling like to do something very very different uh, uh, maybe you will feel like you need to change your routine maybe you will feel like you need to take a different way to work you will feel all those things at that time trust it take action here because something amazing will come out of it that will take you near to your goals or dreams or desires here that's something i'm getting here or again it, if it's your if you are trying to get into a relationship right but you have this perception like i want this kind of person i want this person to be this tall it's sh they should have they should be in this group but sometimes you're getting too specific here <laughs> and you're missing out on the things that you really want maybe you really are really want to have an equal kind of relationship where a partner will give you whatever you want will pamper you it's not more about the outer beauty it's more about inner beauty right but somehow somewhere we are so conditioned um you know sometimes we focus on the outer beauty too much and sometimes uh, but you want these qualities in a person right and maybe spirit is showing you that person but you're not seeing them because of your perception right that's what i'm getting here so soon there will be a perception shift and you will get this is like a way that is going to be shown to you guys to get your dreams and desires because already you have the lamp 
but you're keeping it and you're not using it and here this this is like you will be shown the way to get to your wishes or something like that here yeah so let's see we have the truth yeah you will be shown the truth clearly you will know yeah this is why uh, this is why i'm not making it to that finish point this is why i'm not getting the pleasure that i want right this is why i'm not making that much progress in this particular area of my life this has been my wish and i have been working towards it but i'm not getting like again the steps will be given once you know the truth like this is my perception i need to shift it you are knowing the truth and once you know the truth the steps will be given as you get to the steps you will reach the destination where you want you will get your wish come true again you will move forward and you will get to the destination here right I, I, I was mentioning that this is a way that will be shown to you guys and interestingly we have the way the steps and in this back of the deck energy also if you see that is the way that is so you will know how to go and make your dreams come true here yeah so nourishing yourself taking care of your well-being is also very important taking care of your care your care of yourself is also very important here <clears throat> so let's see what else here group number one what is the message for group number one we have the middle world the present hmm, to be in the present moment the more you are in the present moment the more you will listen to your intuition but the more you are in the future or in the past you will not listen to your intuition right so it's very important for you to be in the present moment so cultivate that kind of um, a presence in order to cultivate that kind of presence meditation is required spending time in nature is required gratitude you know if you can focus more on gratitude it will be very good for you to be more in the present moment because you've got to understand that in the present moment only we create our future reality isn't it what we think now that is what we create in our future so if you are stressing about future if you are thinking about your past you are going to create those same scenarios in the future right so you got to understand that so what is what is what is the main message for you guys it's like there is a way that will be shown to you guys on how to get to that destination on how to get to that a place that uh, wish of yours something you want to achieve in your life right but there is a there is a limited belief or there is a perception that you have is stopping you from getting there right and the more you are in the present moment the more you are connecting with your body connecting with your intuition the more you will know the truth on what you need to change and as you change the next steps will be given and you will reach your dream here so that's what it is so for that you will have to cultivate that kind of energy you have to work on your overthinking whenever you're seeing yourself overthinking cutting that and spending more time in nature doing an activity that helps you maybe listening to good music uh, is very much important so to be in the present moment is very important for you okay not stressing too much about your past or about your future whenever you are stressing too much about your future remember that it's not happened and now only what i want in my future uh what yeah it's 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 in the present i'm creating so change that and whenever you're thinking about the past you've got to think like it's over it's done nothing i can get from it so release that at that time so let's see the tarot cards what is the urgent message for you guys what is the current situation so we have the ten of water wow yeah you will get to that satisfaction that fulfillment if you are in the present moment if you keep your uh, yeah if you trust your intuition and take that small steps and if you're committed to uh, your intuition and do something different because it's safe for you to do you will manifest your wishes here and it will give you a lot of happiness for some of you it's like a, you want a family right with this ten of cups you want the happiness you have very good family life you want a partner you want a marriage or yeah maybe you are already in a relationship you want to get into the next step maybe there is some sort of belief system that is coming in between um yeah that relationship or something like that is there so that's what the more you are connecting with yourself the more you are in present moment the more you are listening to yourself you will know the truth like why this thing is not happening 
And once you understand, once this shift happens, you will be given the next steps here to your magic, right? To your miracles, like to your happiness here, to that wish. So let's see. What else here? Group number one. So we have the wheel. Wow, we have Archangel Michael here with the wheel. A time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. How a situation moves forward? When your perception shifts, the situation will move forward. That was not moving for a very long time. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Things will come. Yeah, again, it will. I really feel like maybe you have a wish and your intuition will be taking you in a very different direction and you will be like, why, why, why I should go there? But listen to it because things will change in a way that you know you will not even expect, but it will be connected somehow, right? So that's very important <laughs> here, okay? So uh, I did mention, so once you do that, once that, you know, once, uh, once you go, you see something, there is a major shift happening and that will shift. This major shift inside of you will trigger the shift outside in your life, right? And we, uh, yeah, we have the number 10 and 10. So you are at the end. We got the 999 as well. So I feel like you are very near to reach, uh, reach your goals, your wishes. But yeah, you got to listen to your intuition and take action here. Yeah, that's very important. Okay. So let's see. What is the message for group number one? We have a lot of cards today. So, what is the urgent message here? Wow, living from the, from the heart. Living from the heart. What your heart says. Again, I was talking about the intuition here. What your heart says. Sometimes what your heart says is not going to be aligning to, your, uh, to something that you had pictured right maybe you again for example i will give like you want this kind of a person with that much of height or uh, yeah you want that kind of specific person but you go somewhere and you are in sitting in a cafe you talk to a person but you get attracted to this person right your heart is uh, attracted to that person but at the same time this person doesn't match your specifics right at that time don't focus on that focus on what your heart is saying that is very important here. Your heart is giving you the correct answers. Your intuition is very strong. And as you trust your intuition, your perception regarding something will change. And that will trigger a lot of things. Like that will trigger you taking certain action. And that will take you to your destination here. That's what the important message is. But sometimes our specifics can come in between and mess with our heart. That's where you need to be in the present moment and trust your heart. Okay? yes so let's see what else here for group number one we have shape shifting wow again this this talks about um again dragonfly the change the this is like an inner, inner shift that is going to happen i really feel like that uh, this is a belief this is some sort of belief that you are not you're very rigid about it and if you look these people are very flexible right you're not flexible about something and once you again i feel like you will see an article or you will see something and you will go and you will see some someone doing something and that can make that shift inside of you so that's why it's very important for you guys to to trust your intuition and take that small step here. A small step can create a big change in your life. Yeah, it, will, it can create create a, a big shift in your life. And for that, you got to be a little bit more adaptable. You cannot be stubborn. Be more adaptable. Be more flexible here. Hmm? So again, when we have certain limited ideas, we are very focused on that limited idea. But there is so much more to it. So get out of that box and be more flexible. Yeah. And as you're becoming more flexible, don't worry. You will be protected and you will be safe. When you're making those changes, you will be safe. Sometimes we don't make those changes because we feel like what if... We don't get the security, right? And that's why we are so afraid to be more flexible or adaptable sometimes. 
right so we can be stubborn like this is what i want i cannot do this this way but things can come in different ways right so you got to be a little bit more flexible here so yeah what else is the message here we have the herbal craft regeneration plant medicine caretaker bloomer here again you know there is like this door here but maybe you're seeing something inside the door only like these are only the herbs i can use but maybe when you go out and you look maybe there are more herbs more things that you're not seeing so it really feels like that something that you're not seeing here you've got to get out of your comfort zone and be more adaptable here and um for some of you, I even feel like you will be interested in herbal medicines or something like that. Or yeah, maybe plant medicine. Or maybe it's with your health also. Maybe doing something different will be helpful. Okay. But yeah, definitely taking care of yourself. Listening to your intuition is very important here. And we have drawing, uh, drawing down the moon. It's about your intuition. Trusting your intuition. And again, we have the moon. So here we are. We are like, this is all we need. But our intuition is guiding us to do something different. We got to trust it. We got to trust our intuition. And as I mentioned, like making small changes. Because you will be safe with these two hands. You will be protected when you listen to your intuition. You will be safe. So don't be stubborn here. Be more flexible. So let's see the final message from Archangel Uriel for group number one. okay we have the release yeah what you need to release guys what is that belief system that you need to release what is that stubbornness that you need to release yeah and again i with this connection here storytelling so okay this feels like when you will grow old you will say the story like this happened i went there and this thing happened i never expected this thing to happen i did mention you uh, mention to you guys right maybe this is a small step and you will not be thinking like this dream of mine is possible if i take that step you will never think like that because it's very different but you go there and something will be connected and you will be like oh and that's when you will realize yeah yeah that's why i was called to do this thing here that's why this didn't <laughs> didn't work yeah so yes you will be you will be really you will be sharing that story when you will be old like how i made it how how everything was connected, how a universe can show miracles, right? Yeah, things are going to be very connected here. Okay, so, so I'm sorry. Uh, so release, so that's what is happening. So once you're becoming flexible, you will be able to release that rigidity. And once you release it, this, this perception shift will happen and you will get to your wishes here. And uh, the fall season might also be very important for you guys. Okay, maybe the fall season is the season where you will be, you know, you will be seeing the next path on how to make it happen. Or maybe for some of you by fall season, you will get to your destination. That is also something I'm seeing here. Okay, maybe number 333 is also important. Maybe you are seeing those numbers as well. So yeah, that's all I have for group number one. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Number two, you have been attracted to Archangel Gabriel or maybe you have uh, been attracted to the number 1212. Maybe you're seeing a lot of 1212s. So let's see what is the message here. Oh, yeah. What is the message? What is the urgent message regarding your uh, regarding your current situation from your Archangel? Okay. Yeah. So let's see what is the message here for group number two. Your mantra is like, I'm safe, I'm protected. You're protected, you're protected. You're protected, okay. Yeah, wow, look again. Uh, you're protected, you're protected here. Hmm. So some sort of healing is happening at this time, I feel like that. And as this healing happens, you are getting into this new beginning here that is going to be like the roses. That is going to be giving you a lot of good, good feelings here. So at this time, um, maybe you are afraid somehow somewhere don't be afraid because you're protected you're safe maybe you're afraid to get into a deep uh yeah maybe sometimes we are so afraid to connect with our shadow self we are so afraid to deep dive into ourselves, right we are so afraid of that just, so don't be afraid keep doing keep digging more about uh yourself because that will help help you heal something so you can have what you want in your um 
in your life here sometimes some healings is required in order to achieve certain goals of your so it it feels like don't be afraid uh, to connect with your shadow self don't be afraid to um, yeah to see the aspects of you that you're so afraid to see right sometimes we kind of uh, uh, yeah kind of let go of certain habits of ours because sometimes we are so afraid to lick the wounds but it's okay because you will be able to heal sometimes you need to lick the wounds in order to heal it right uh, so you can have that new beginning so something this is something about your healing something uh, it, it feels like it's okay to dig deep about who you are to uh, get to know you and like yeah to it's okay to reflect reflect uh, with this mirror it's okay to know more about yourself more more about a past so don't be afraid to get into those feelings whenever those feelings you know sometimes what happens is when we are in my case also you know suddenly sometimes we will have a uh, something that we happen in our past it comes up right it's resurfaces so some sort of uh, emotions that we have suppressed it resurfaces the reason why it's resurfacing is so we can have a different perspective about it and we can heal it right but when we are so afraid when why it's resurfacing re resurfacing instead of like suppressing it again just feel those emotions so you can heal it so that emo that thing that thing from the past is not going to bother you again so that's that's very important here so you can see the other side yes and as you do it you will be protected here so don't be afraid uh, yeah to don't be afraid to lick your wounds don't be afraid to get in uh, yeah get in deep into you right it's okay to get into the past so you can release something so yeah yeah yeah, for me also recently, I was like certain things that happened in the past. I thought that I've healed it. It came, it, it resurfaced again. And when it was resurfacing, I was like, why? Why I have to think that? Why I, I just forgive this person? I'm, I'm, yeah, I, had, I don't have anything to do with the situation. Why it's coming again? Why it's resurfacing? I was like, yeah. But then too, I was like, why, why, why? Yeah, uh, what, what I had to see. And at that time, I just got a different perspective regarding that situation. And I feel like it was like completely different from the past. And it gave me a lot of understanding why it resurfaced. So instead of suppressing, you ask yourself, why I'm feeling like that? Why this thing is resurfacing? Because you will get your answer. So don't be afraid to deep dive. That's what I'm getting here. Because you will be protected. It's for your own advantage. You can heal something. You know, sometimes we feel like... Uh, we have done all the healing but sometimes it appears again it's like it's not linear like it's, it's sometimes like it comes again and again so you, you can have that different view different perception so you can completely let go of maybe something in your present you're not able to move forward maybe that is uh, that is connected with your past a uh, limited belief or something like that so that's the reason it's resurfacing so whenever it comes don't suppress it again so don't feel like oh i am in i'm going good like why this is happening don't be so hard on yourself rather just ask yourself why i'm feeling like that why this past event is coming again because i've not been focusing on that right but why it's resurfacing why i'm feeling so emotional what is this thing show me a different view and you will so you can heal it and move forward here so yes you can get to the other side here so don't be so hard on yourself uh, that's something I'm getting here because there is a new beginning that is coming here for you guys and something has to be cleared in order for you to get to this new beginning so that's why this past things are resurfacing so some sort of bub it's like the past is bubbling up and you're like why it shouldn't bubble up don't stop it let it bubble up uh, yeah let experience those emotions so you can just cut it and you can have that new beginning like uh, that thing you you're going to have that new perception so you will not be bothered you will not be triggered anymore from that so something like that okay so let's see more uh, let's get more information here group number two what is it what is the message from archangel gabriel for group number two which are messages from your archangel wow look you're not alone I, I i did mention i'm protected i'm safe so here your uh, archangel gabriel is telling you yes you are safe 
they are with you at this time they are un making you understand something it's happening for a reason so you uh, yeah it feels like something is bothering you right now some sort of past events are coming up and you're like why this is at this time because i'm focusing on my goals i'm trying to move forward but why this is bothering me it's for a reason and understand that you're not alone you don't have to do this by yourself so that's why whenever this resurfaces don't try to suppress it don't try to uh, ignore it like uh, and yeah you know why this i why i'm feeling like this you know acknowledge it and ask for guidance from your archangel from your guardian angel guardian angel because you don't have to do it by yourself they will be protecting you so you are protected you are safe so whenever these kinds of emotions are coming it's coming for a reason so you can just let it go you can release it so you can move on to this next level this is there is a new beginning that is waiting to come and something has to be healed uh, that hasn't been and that's why it's resurfacing so and you don't have to do it by yourself your guardian angel archangel gabriel is worth you showing you it showing you all those things so that's what the message is because there is a new beginning in the horizon look again we have the honey bee here summer bask in joy and light this is about your success as well so something related to your success maybe there is an area in your life where you're not getting the success that you want and it has been a little bit um a little bit slow uh, it feels like a, a, pl a seed you have planted and you've been nurturing it with everything uh, you're nurturing it in a balance but you're not seeing the growth there is a reason to it there is something that you have to heal within yourself and that's the reason why it's resurfacing so don't suppress it and you are not alone call upon your archangel call upon your guardian angel they will help you maybe you have been seeing feathers as well this is a sign that they are with you uh, maybe you're seeing coins as well right so let's see what else here group number yeah it's like it would give you that uh, balance like mind body soul balance here something will balance out so a success that you're trying uh, to achieve in your life at this time is connected to something from your past and that's the reason why these things are bubbling up here that's what your archangels are telling you right now here so don't be afraid so let's see you are protected you are safe and the stability that you want you will have it you're not alone in this okay you're not alone in this so let's see group number two yeah we have the solitude yes you have to be courageous guys you have to be courageous you're not alone though even though you might feel alone with the solitude yes you have to do it al alone right there's emotions you have to face it by yourself maybe you feel like this is the journey that i'm walking alone i want to get to the destination but why like i'm in the middle uh, middle of the path and why this is resurfacing because i was going good at this time like why things are a little bit up and down right why these things are resurfacing why i'm not able to get to my goal uh, even though you feel like alone you're not alone you're not alone your guardian angel your archangels are with you guiding you so keep going so uh, whenever these kinds of uh, emotions uh, surf resurface uh, acknowledge it so you can heal it so it is going to take you to the next level so don't be afraid of those emotions right so you will be secure you are stable that's something i feel like your archangel is telling you even though you might not feel stable sometimes you might feel unstable when these kinds of emotions come up it's it's for a reason here so don't be afraid that's what the message is don't be afraid you're not alone so what is the message from archangel gabriel what are your messages You have a passion and you have a passion and you will make it. You're, you're ready to cross the threshold. You're ready to get into the next level. And yes, and for that, uh, yes, that's the thing. You're ready to get into the next level. There is uh, with this, uh, this new beginning is happening. Uh, you will get to the destination, but there is something that you need to work on. That's why these heavy emotions are coming. So don't worry, um, I feel like that's where it is. We have the tree people, sustenance and the owl, right? It feels like uh, your owl is, uh, maybe you resonate with the owl as well. Maybe that is your uh, animal spirit as well. And the owl can see in the darkness, right? So, so yeah, there is something that you're not seeing at this time. Maybe you're, you're feeling like, why this is happening? Why I'm feeling like that, right? Why things are not moving forward? Why I'm feeling so heavy? There is a reason for it. So you can heal something from the... Uh, past here completely and have a different view so you can get to the success that you have been wanting for things will move forward here things will move forward 
uh, that's what uh, something related to your passion something related to your work maybe you have been working really hard on something things are going to move forward here okay so that's what the message is uh, so let's see what else here What else is the message for group number two? Urgent messages from the Archangels. Group number two. Wow, look again. We have the queen of water. This is the time to nourish yourself. This is the time to take care of your intuition. Again, queen of water. She is... She, she is like, she is not going to be very hard on herself. Like why these emotions from the past is coming? Why, why shouldn't feel like that? I, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. You might be feeling like I've come so far in my spiritual journey, but now why I'm thinking of this thing? Why I'm thinking about the past thing? Why I'm feeling all these feelings, right? So you might be feeling like, oh, I am just going back in my spiritual journey. I shouldn't feel like that. Don't be like that. It's happening for a reason. So whenever you have those kinds of feelings, understand that it's happening for a reason. Nourish it. Nourish yourself take care of yourself if you want more rest at that time if you're feeling really heavy please take care of yourself your well-being nourish yourself and as you do it you will understand the reason why this is happening you will get a different perception a diff diff different view regarding that situation so you yeah you will get something and that's connected to your success in some way here and you will know why it's happening here so don't be afraid things are going to move forward for you guys i really feel like you're you're getting to the next side you're getting to this other side here that's why so don't be hard on yourself here be more patient be more loving be more caring towards yourself that's what i'm getting here here okay and the intuition is also very strong here so as you give that nourishment, loving energy to yourself, as you're empathetic to yourself, you will know exactly why you're feeling those feels. So let's see what else here. Yeah, the world. <laughs> yes, finally things are coming full circle. Something is ending here. We have Archangel Michael, interestingly, in a different, you know, the different card was there for group number one. Archangel Michael came in that group as well, first group. Uh, so here, uh, this is like, oh, maybe, yeah, finally this is ending here, this thing. So this is like, this is something from your past. You thought that you have healed it, but you didn't. It's coming up again. There is a reason for it. And now finally this thing is not going to bother. It's finally completing. So you can go to the other side and you can have your new beginning with this world card. So a new chapter is starting for you guys, group number two. Uh, this thing is not going to bother and you're going to get the success that you have been wanting. That's what the message is here. Okay, so let's see oh, what else uh, this urgent message is. So don't be afraid. You're safe. You're secure. You're going good. You're going good. You're healing something that you never thought of that you have to heal. So that's why this is coming up again. Hmm. So don't worry. You are going good. You are in this journey, spiritual journey. You're doing amazing. You're protected, okay? Uh, so let's see. Group number two. Wow. Speak your truth. Oh, authenticity. Yeah, sometimes... Hmm. Sometimes we are we are afraid of confrontation. We are afraid of speaking our truth. Sometimes we um, we are afraid what other people will think. So maybe that's what it connected. This thing, something uh, something that will give you a different view. You will understand some sort of un, uh, things from the past, like why this is coming up. This is coming up for a reason. And again, from these uh, mountains, like from here to here to the other side, to the sunny side, you're going here. So always speak your truth. So you will understand, you know, now also you will understand where you're not speaking your truth, where you're not authentic. So something is, uh, uh, something you will get an understanding. That's why this is happening. And you're not alone in this. Don't worry. Things will get better very, very soon here, okay? You're going to get to the other side. You're going to see the Asani side. And we have number 21. This is the last uh, major arcana. And we have the number 10. So a cycle is completing. A new cycle is starting for you guys. That will be much, much beautiful. Uh, you will be seeing the success that you want, you have been wanting, okay? Uh, so keep loving yourself, be um, empathetic, don't be hard on yourself. That's that's what your message is here, group number two. Things have been a little bit emotionally hard for you guys, I feel like, maybe externally as well, but don't be hard. This is happening for a reason and you will get to know it. Something is connected here. Or maybe for some of you, because of this, uh, something that is resurfacing in your life, you will be ending a chapter, a phase of your life, and that will lead to a major breakthrough. Yep. So let's see what else here. 
uh, we have initiation yes starting something new here that's what I'm getting here some sort of understanding is happening as this understanding happens something is initiated something new is beginning a new 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 life is beginning you're crossing the threshold something new a new chapter of your life is starting here with this uh, with this initiation card that's what I'm getting here and something that you really really love is going to happen some sort of success that you have been wanting uh, you have been aiming for is happening here yeah so yeah don't worry don't worry <laughs> okay so that's what i'm getting here uh, so let's see what else here group number two where's the message for group number two a surgeon message here okay you have telekinesis again the sword you know the archangel michael presence is also very strong here uh, influence willpower control obstacles here so you are understanding what you need to cut what you what you need to break free from here Yes, this is like a major understanding. So again, with this mirror here, this thing that is resurfacing is important. So you can break free. You can cut something that is not a, not important. Well, yeah, something from your past is influencing you now also. And you're not, you were not seeing it before. Now you will be able to see it before. And some sort of influence is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is creating obstacles in your life. So you're not getting to this other side. So this thing that is happening is happening for a reason. And you're safe. You're protected. Don't worry. Uh, this thing, don't be very hard on yourself when those emotions come. Acknowledge it as it uh, resurfaces and as you acknowledge it, you will understand, you will get a different perception and as you get this different view about the situation, you can break yourself free from the past thing that will not happen again in your future because now you cannot take this because you are getting to this new life of yours, okay? So yeah, that's what the message is. So let's see the final message here, group number two. <clears throat> the final message for group number two. If you look at in your image, there is mountains here. I feel like there is a little bit of mountain here, mountain here. So there has been a lot of obstacles that you have been facing. Finally, those obstacles you will be able to cut through and move to the other side. You're going to the other side, guys. You're not alone. You've been protected. You've been safe. So don't worry. I feel like there, this is a time of trust and you have to have faith. So let's see the final message here, group number two. final message okay wow family yeah things coming together things coming together here and we have shine things coming together and you're going to shine here so again this can be like this past thing can be related to a family as well that is coming up for you guys maybe something that you break uh, you need to break free from you know again with the family some sort of limited beliefs from your family that you have been carrying right you have to break free from that has become an obstacle to your path and that's the reason why you're not shining in your full spirit like you ha you have so much of uh, yeah, so much of potential, right? And you're not able to show your complete potential to the people. Maybe you're not getting that kind of shine that you want. You want to shine. You want to really, really shine. But somehow, somewhere, you're you're dimming your light, and you may not understanding why. What? Why am? Maybe because of some sort of uh, belief system, because of some sort of past things related to your family, right? You're not shining that bright. And here, yeah, something uh, related to family, some sort of limited belief that has been coming up, you will be able to cut through and you are going to shine here. So this is happening for a reason here. You are protected, you are safe. That's what the message is for group number two. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Number three, if you have been drawn to Archangel Michael or if you have been drawn because of the number 333, let's see what is the message, what is the urgent message from your Archangel Archangels regarding your current situation. So let's see, let's see with, with the charms and the cards, what is the message for group number three. <clears throat> group number three. I'm seeing stairs, okay like ladder stairs leveling up moving forward step by step you're going okay maybe you're not feeling like you're going step by step but you are you're taking that step by step you are climbing the ladder okay uh, that's what archangel michael wants you to know for some of you you are going to if you don't know where you need to go next you will be given the next step don't worry okay i'm i'm seeing the uh like the, the you know the female reproductive part uh, so maybe some sort of healing is happening the sacral chakra healing is happening 
um, if you had some issues with your reproduction or something like that, I feel like that is also healing. And uh, yeah, and the next step will be given to you guys regarding that situation as well. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, so let's see what else here. Oh, I just heard. Why are you even worried? The magic wand is in your hands. You can create the magic. Yes, you can make magic happen in your life because you are a powerful person. Why are you even worried? Uh, yes, that's what I was. I was feeling. Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, that was the message here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, your energy is very beautiful, okay? Because with the spoon, I can see your energy is in high vibe. It's full of love here. Uh, yes, again, your know, spiritual progress is definitely happening with the key. We have the key. Look again, the key is attached to the uh, to the moon and the key is attached to the lotus here. Uh, so if you look at your feelings, uh, your emotions, like your intuition is giving you to the next steps for your blossoming, right? You're going to blossom. Um, so that's why the step by step, uh, step by step, don't worry, okay? So you are getting to this next level uh, in your life. So be more playful. Uh, be the, Yes, I feel like your energy is good with this spoon here. I can see that. And with this cat, with the ball. So be more playful. Uh, enjoy your life more. Have more fun. That's what I'm getting here. Wherever you can let go of the weight, let go of. Don't carry the responsibilities of other people at this time. The more you can have fun, the better. Because the more you are coming in this childlike energy, the more you are having fun, the more you are taking things in a light way, the better it is for your own glow up, for your own blossoming here. So that's all you need to know. You have been very strong for a very long time. You have been in this healing journey. You have been trying to, uh, to get in touch with your heart, with your body, right? You have been doing all the work. I feel like this group has been doing the work, right? But at the same time, sometimes you tend to take the weight of the world. You have been taking the weight of the world uh, because you are someone who is like a counselor, who is like a guide, guy, who, who guides people. But what happens when too much is happening? You get stressed. You're taking uh, energies from other people and it's, it's creating a lot of baggage. And you have to have that strength, that courage. You have to, yeah, you have to bring that resources like the cactus. And you, you're not using it for yourself. You're using it for other people. And that's not required at this time. So please let the weight of the world go. Let the weight of other people go. So be more lighthearted. The less weight you carry, the better here. And how you can let go of the weight? By being more playful, by enjoying your life more, by not taking the weight of the world, by not taking the weight of other people, by not making uh, other people's healing your journey because it's their journey only you have to give them the guidance so if you have to shine bright you cannot take the stress of other people you cannot take their their work and do it and make it your work no you cannot if you have to shine you will have to let go of their weight you can guide them you can give them the counsel but you cannot do anything for them you cannot do the work Always remember that uh, you can help them, but you cannot. So if you have to be in this high frequency, you got to remember. So take that weight. You don't have to be the cactus all the time. You don't have to give, give from, you know, it feels like sometimes you, your cup is not filled because you're giving it to other people. So you have to fill your cup here. And so uh, that's what is required here at this time. <laughs> okay, that's what you need to do. And as you do it, as you fill your cup, as you're taking things in a lighthearted way, as you're letting go of the weight, what will happen? What will happen is the things that has been very slow, it's going to be changing for you very quickly. And you will have that blossoming. Like you will be blossoming like the lotus. The lotus blossoms in the muddy environment, you will blossom. Okay, so let's see more, okay, from the cards. Let's see what is the message here. Group number three. Oh, you're group number three and you've been uh, seeing 333 three, three, maybe many of you. So let's see what else here. Lighten your load, guys. Lighten your load. We have connect with your emotions. Again, emotions. Your emotions have the answers. We had the these two charms here. They were connected, right? And this is the message here. Water garden. You are the cure of cups. You are intuitive. Connect with your emotions more. When you are taking other people's emotions, when you are working with other people, when they are trauma dumping on you or when they are emotionally dumping on you, whenever they need help, they come to you and they make 
uh, they give you a lot of things that you don't need at that time and it's creating a lot of baggages so you got to uh, free yourself from their baggage yes you can listen to them if you if you are available you can listen to them if you're feeling good you can listen to them but some days maybe you're not feeling good and you have every right to say no as well you have you yeah sometimes you cannot help people if you're not if you have if your cup is not filled if you if you if you're drained you cannot help people right you will get more drained at that time say no and it's okay to say no maybe you sometimes sometimes you worry how 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 uh, i have to help them you know maybe you take as i as i told you take the weight of the world sometimes it's okay to say no <clears throat> yeah exchange energy to create abundance look at it wow if you are someone who is doing work for free like if you are an energy healer if you're doing work for free don't do work for free no 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 charge okay i really feel like that's one of the messages from archangel michael here maybe if you're someone who is a creative and you are uh, selling your painting or whatever for a lesser price don't don't charge because you're doing the hard work charge accordingly okay otherwise this will be not balanced if you're giving 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 and if you're not receiving you will not be balanced and that's where it's like you're taking the weight of the world and you're no one is taking your weight and you're keeping it so there is no equal balance here things should be equal that's very important here you cannot drain your cup and give it to other people it will not create the abundance it is only going to create the lack so if you have any belief system like i'm doing this kind of work so i cannot i cannot ask or like i cannot charge money no no you can you have to otherwise there will be no balance you're giving but you're not getting anything back that's not right that's why you will get drained yeah maybe there are loved ones you will help for free and that's okay but not everyone you cannot help everyone without getting anything back sometimes we have been told as a society that we have to give we have to give the more we have to give the more we have to get otherwise we will get drained and that's what that's the thing that you need to lighten up you got to lighten up you are a someone who is very connected to their emotions right i really feel like that you are the queen of cups oh for some of you with this water guardian and the trader yes you are a queen of cups it's time uh to charge the right price for your gifts yes you have that gift you can help other people using your gift and they will benefit through your gifts you should also get the benefit it's your it's your right it's your right that's how law works there should be this balance right the give and take balance should be there you cannot just give and not get anything no 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 it will take all the fun if you're not getting anything you will have no fun you will get drained you will, yes so always remember there should be this equal balance if you are giving someone something you should get it back otherwise there is no balance here that's how life is that's how the energies work right you have to have that balance and here archangel michael is talking about that is there any is there it may be in your career is there no balance in your relationship is there no balance if there is no balance there should be balance and when the things balance both the parties will get the advantage that's what you need to understand both will get the uh, yeah the what they need right both will get their cup full you don't have to get drained in order to fill someone else's cups both can have that cup full that's something you need to understand here okay always trust sometimes it's not your baggage to carry everyone's pain give that package to universe don't keep it to yourself so what you need to so if you need to help other people you need to shine bright you need to have that abundant mindset then only you can help people you need to have your cup full then only you can give always always remember that you have a talent you have a skill you and that skill will benefit other people so it's okay to charge it's okay to uh, have that abundance right yeah so never think that uh, you have to do things for free you have to carry the load of other people no 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 if you want to shine bright you have to have that playfulness you have to have that high vibration and in order to have that high vibration you have to have that abundant mind mindset you cannot be in lack and be high vibe no lack mindset is not high vibe it's not love you struggle right always understand that i feel like that's what it is so you have every right to that you have every right to say no 
who you're giving your energy you have every right to choose people you have that right to make that choice you you you, you it's not yeah it's it's okay if you don't want to work with certain people it's okay it's up to you right it's how you feel it's that's what is important you don't have to take all the weight that's universe work that's god's job that's archangel michael's job right you don't have to you can help people yeah if you're feeling some sort of alignment with certain people you can help them that's your that's all your job is like small small things right but somehow somewhere you being abundant you having that abundant mindset you're changing the world that's all your work is right don't put too much work on your shoulders when it's not even even your work i really feel like that that's what i'm getting here uh so let's see yeah, happiness what is your responsibility is your own happiness are you getting the fair share that's what you need to sh uh, see am i doing too much and i'm not getting anything back is there balance here that is what you need to know that's your job that's your job how can i light if if i'm feeling too heavy how can i lighten my load is there no fun so how can i bring more joy into my life how can i fill my cup that is your job not getting everyone's load that's not your job that will make you feel like in lack lack mindset you will not have fun and that's what archangel michael is telling you so choose your happiness what suits you do that and you being in high vibe is is is, is an amazing thing because that's helping the world in some way you might not know but that's that positive energy is helping the people around you yeah again a person who is very positive in a home that positivity will be given to other people somehow somewhere other people will also feel feel positive that's the that's how it is if a person is very negative in a home that negativity will influence other people so that's what it is you being positive you enjoying you being happy you lightening the load you, yeah you getting that fair share you being in this abundant mindset is going to help people around you and yeah that's that's your job your job is to be happy to be yeah and whenever you feel like yeah when you're happy when you're in abundant state you can help people without getting drained yes that's that's what i'm getting here that's what the message is at this time you need to hear that hmm yeah <clears throat> so let's see what else resurgent message from yeah emotion oh again like we have this dolphin isn't it the dolphin energy is again here the trickster the challenge again the trickster energy it's it's like the social conditioning that we have you know sometimes we feel like that we cannot have everything what if they don't have like sometimes we feel like i am i having too much or other people don't have like universe is so abundant universe is very much abundant our mindset is limited and that's why many people cannot have those resources that doesn't mean that you have to feel bad of having good things no you feeling bad of having good things is only going to put you in this negative energy and it's not doing any good to anyone but you feeling in this positive energy you feeling abundant is actually going to do something good to the world in ways you don't even think like that's what archangel michael is telling you and it's still uh, and he's telling you to reflect on it you know a person who is in poverty can they help anyone no they cannot because they don't have enough to help anyone but a person who is abundant they have so much so they can help someone right if a person is positive he has that positive energy he can give that positive a smile will change other people's life and or other people's day your energy will uplift other people so you being the energy of love can change things for people and you don't have to do so much work you don't have to get drained for it that's what you need to reflect on group number 3 that's what the message is here so you can do what makes you happy and you being in this high vibe is what is important at this time you don't have to take the weight of the world and feel negative that they are not happy so how can i be happy that's not the thing i'm getting this they are not getting like that's not it is you got to be in this abundant state so things yeah you yeah uh, yeah this this energy is important to the world at this time isn't it so i feel like that's what archangel michael wants you to know at this time okay connect with your emotions don't feel like you have to carry everyone's emotions it's clear everything when you're getting something from outside clear it 
Okay, so let's see what else is for group number three. You got to focus on your own blossoming. You got to focus on yourself. The more you focus on yourself, the more you're positive. You will somehow, somehow, somewhere you will affect. Uh, yeah, you will bring that positive joy in other people's life. I really feel like that's what Archangel Michael is telling. You don't have to take the weight. Yeah. Okay, that's that's an awesome message, right? So let's see. Justice, balance. Again, balance. Where is things are not balanced? Where you're taking too much? Or maybe is this a limited belief that you have that is stopping you to enjoy your life? Maybe you feel like you have too much and you cannot have this much. Or maybe someone else around you don't have, so you cannot you cannot be feeling good. You cannot feel that goodness. No, stop all those. This is all your limited belief. This is all your lack mindset. That's you need to cut. That's you need to work. Balance it out. Group number three. That's a very strong message with this justice. The skills need to be balanced here. So don't think like that. You need to be high vibe in order. High vibe is abundance. Being having that prosperity mindset is abundant because you can have, be generous, you can help. So the more you get, you can help, right? Without draining yourself, you need to keep your uh, cup overflow always. Don't drain it. <clears throat> Group number three, life experience here. Oh, we have the tower card. Okay. So what is not balanced needs to go. What is not balanced needs to go. Right now, think what is not balanced. Immerse where you are carrying the weight. If you are not going to let it go, universe will come and let it, take it away from you if not, something is not balanced. Yeah, so that's what it is. Where things are not balanced, it's going to go. So think balance can come here. So with this tower card. So for some of you, this tower card can be the spiritual awakening that you're getting. Like, yeah, this is where I'm putting too much uh, energy and I don't, I'm not getting anything back. And it will be like a major realization. So you, when you get that realization, that epiphany, you can balance things. But, <clears throat> uh, yeah, but if you're not ready to let go of something, some sort of weight, it will be taken away from you here. So things can balance. Balance is very important. Balance is coming your, like, into your life. Uh, yeah. So let's see what else here. Group number. See what else for group number three. Group number three. We have follow your curiosity. Wow. Oh, we have look at the look at the pink color, right? Uh, breaking through the barrier. So it's some sort of limited belief, social conditioning. You need to let go of. Let go of. Okay, so what you need to be is to curious of why I'm feeling like that, what I should do. Be curious what your intuition is do, telling you. Be more playful. That's all you need to do. And as you do it, as you, as you follow your curiosity, you're going to get some sort of understanding with this tower card that you didn't have before. And that will change a lot of things, right? Uh, so that's where that's important here and the rabbit can be a sign for many of you maybe you have asked like rabbit rabbit is a sign of abundance so um, maybe soon you will have this season of spring where you know in real life whatever season you're entering I feel like now you're in yeah in your in your life you're entering this season of spring where there's a lot of abundance a lot of happiness a lot of growth so tr always trust yourself always trust your curiosity you know, if you need any information, get those information because this information will help you. So whenever you're feeling something intuitively, do that. Again, trust your own emotions, trust your own uh, heart and do it anyways because it will give you an amazing understanding that you didn't have before and that can change a lot of things. So let's see what else for group number three. Wow, okay, yes, look. Look, there is like everyone is getting together. So your energy is enough, your positive energy is enough to make other people happy. You shining your light, you being curious, you doing what's best for yourself, you loving yourself will actually, this energy is enough. Because this energy, you know, if you are doing that, you know, if you are enjoying your life, if you are curious of the things, and if you're following your heart, if you're doing something that makes you happy, this all your work, whatever it is, it is going to give that 
energy to other people so for example if you are a content creator and you're feeling that happiness your joy and and through that joy you're creating videos and many people will see those videos and they will feel that kind of positivity so even for one day they will they will have that energy that could wipe right it doesn't matter uh, yeah yeah it doesn't matter what doesn't matter is like you don't have to carry the weight like what others think of you what matters is how it feels like when you're doing the work it feels love do it you know shine bright it will help other people it will help other people you will be celebrating soon something that is also i'm getting here yeah so just let go of certain the baggage lighten your load hmm things are coming together for you guys things that you have been working so hard is coming together you will be celebrating something very soon you will be blossoming yeah number three what else archangel michael wants you to know oh we have look at the eyes the number 13 ending <laughs> endings and new beginnings are happening so you don't have to carry as you lighten the load of the other people something will end a new beginning will happen so definitely something you're going to celebrate very soon something that you have been really really working hard on something that you have been focusing on is going to grow and the reason why it was not growing because you were taking the weight of the world and as you release that weight of the world things are going to move forward we have rhythm a higher self reality rest so whenever you're feeling a little confused what you need to do is to connect with your own higher self with your own emotions the more you connect with your emotions the you will know exactly where you're giving too much of energy where you're not getting anything and as you can as you balance things will move forward yeah yeah things are going to move forward for you guys you know what's best for you guys but somehow somewhere because uh you know you have been told like you have to give 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 right that's where you get lost so if it doesn't feel right don't give if if, if it if it doesn't feel right to say yes say no right always do what feels right because you you are someone who can connect to yourself your heart so have a practice where you're connecting with your higher self every day or archangel michael every day they will bring you a new understanding that will really really benefit you uh, to have that scale balanced so let's see the final message for group number three <clears throat> destiny wow like the spider right the spider web as again it feels like the spider uh, weaves and they get uh, they trap the insects isn't it they're not going there they're not chasing anything they're attracting and how can you attract the when you are in this beautiful energy in this positive energy you are going to attract but the more you try to chase things you are going to feel that lack that i have to do this i have to do this but when you're having that joy having fun and you're doing what what you love you attract that's something you need to understand and you you need to also understand that you are destined for success you're destined uh, to have that abundance right uh, that's something you need to uh, understand here as well so uh, that's what i'm getting here so what you're thinking what you're feeling is what you're going to get so the more you're enjoying your work and doing it with a lot of positivity and doing it with a lot of love the more you're going to get because you're giving that energy right so you're going to get it so whenever you're getting too much don't feel like that you are you don't deserve it because you deserve it so have that balance okay group number three that's important for you guys at this time that's all you need to know from archangel michael hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye